Hello everyone, I am Ankit and you are watching Study IQ IS English channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a critically endangered species known as red crowned roof turtle. And how the name red crowned roof turtle comes to the species, as you can see, this is a male species and the crown as well as the roof of this turtle has become red, therefore giving the species the name. Now, whenever any important species in news, we understand we have three things that we need to remember. Habitats, habits as well as protection status of the species. Okay, so exactly this we are going to cover in our today's discussion. But first let us discuss why are we discussing this particular species. First is that one of the most endangered turtle species in India, they have been returned to the river Ganga after 30 years because as many as 20 of these red crowned roof turtle were introduced in the western part of the state of Uttar Pradesh and they were introduced in Hyderpur wetland and Hastinapur wildlife sanctuary. Now if you remember Hyderpur wetland is a part of Hastinapur wildlife sanctuary. So in our today's discussion, we will obviously cover about the red crowned roof turtle and also we will understand this protected area that is located in the western part of Uttar Pradesh that is Hastinapur wildlife sanctuary. First, let us deal with the red crowned roof turtle and as I have already told you, we will be dealing with HHP of this species habits, habitat as well as protection status. First, habits. Now, this is a freshwater turtle species and it is found in deep flowing rivers with have terrestrial nesting sites. Now, these are the important facts that you need to remember. They are found in deep waters and waters that are not stagnant or rather they are flowing in nature. Because this species, it prefers clean and unpolluted river water ecosystems which are abundant in aquatic vegetation because this species actually eats upon the plants that are available in the water bodies. Also, what is you have to remember that these species are known as bio indicators of fresh river water ecosystem health and by bio indicators what I mean that if this species exists in a particular river water ecosystem you understand the health of that river ecosystem is good otherwise these species won't be found in that system okay now the species is native to India and also to countries like Nepal and Bangladesh but what you have to remember, except Ganga, now that they have been reintroduced, the only confirmed habitat of the species is in Chambal River, particularly in Chambal River, Ghadial Sanctuary. Now, we were talking about Chambal River, right? Chambal River is a tributary of which river? Please let me know in the comments quickly. Now, let us understand another important habits of this species. They are biologically known as Batagur Kachoga, okay? Now, in terms of physical characteristics, there's a peculiar thing that you need to remember that the size of male red crowned roof turtle, this is much smaller as you compare with them female turtles, right? Because they are only about half the size of female turtles. Now, the male species of this red crowned roof turtle, they get or they develop bright red coloration on the crown during the breeding season and that is why the name red crowned roof turtle has been given to them. I've already shown you in the picture, you can see the reddish on their necks and on their roof okay now the carapace of the species is strongly keeled and the plastron of the species is angulated laterally in the young one so what is carapace and what is plastron let me tell you now suppose this is the turtle species okay pardon my very average drawing i'll make things clear to you okay so this upper part is known as carapace okay let me raise it first carapace okay and this is known as plastron. So this upper part is known as carapace and the bottom part is plastron. Please remember that. So the carapace or the upper part of this turtle is strongly keeled, which means it is very strong in nature like every turtle, whereas the plastron or the bottom half of the turtle is angulated laterally, particularly in the younger species. Okay, please remember that. Now, Moving to the protection status. Now, what you need to remember is the this species is critically endangered because only about 130, 140 species are estimated to be present in the only confirmed region that is in the Chambal River. Other regions like Brahmaputra River, there are reports that they are found, but there is no confirmed sighting as of yet. So therefore, these are called as critically endangered species. Also, when it comes to sites, these are categorized as Appendix 1, which means trade of these species between different countries happen unless there's an exceptional circumstances 
Now about India's Wildlife Protection Act, these are categorized as Schedule 1 species, which means hunting, capturing, trading of these species in India, also prohibited. And if you do so, you will be subjected to penal provisions, even imprisonment. Now, the major threats of these species include habitat loss like every other species due to increased footprints of humans, drowning in illegal fishing nets which happens in Ganga obviously and sand mining as well as poaching because of their strong keeled carapace as well as angular um, plastron, they are very much high in demand in illegal markets, right? So, this is why they have such a high conservation status and when they are critically endangered, automatically when such species are in use, it becomes very important from our exams perspective. Now, let us talk about the Hastinapur Wildlife Sanctuary. As I have already told you, these are located in the western part of Uttar Pradesh and it stretches to districts like uh, Merat, Muzaffarpur, Muz sorry, Muzaffarnagar, Ghaziabad, Bijnor, Merat, Hapur, uh, as well as Amroha districts. Now, this uh, wildlife sanctuary lies on the western bank of Ganga River. So, the river flowing through this protected area is the biggest river in India, Ganga. Now, another aspect of this Hastinapur Wildlife Sanctuary is that variety of landforms and mixture of different habitats are available here. First, that this habitat has a presence of tall wet grasslands which dominate the low-lying regions of the country. Why just such huge tall wet grasslands develop? Because of the abundant water which is supplied to it by the Ganga River. Also, dry scrub grassland are dominated, especially the elevated alluvium deposited area in the country. As I told you, Ganga River which flows throughout out there it is a perennial river and it supplies alluvium in huge amount so the older alluvium regions that is the banger regions these develop dry scrub grasslands in this particular region also this has presence of swamps and marshes and why am i telling you presence of swamps and marshes are there because there this is located very close to the terai region of uttar pradesh which stretches from saharanpur districts and all so this region has a presence of swamps and marshes also between the elevated grounds and the sand Sandy belts of Ganga. But what is peculiar about this protected area is that this is a settled area and which is under cultivation in crops like rice, like wheat, like sugarcane. These are grown extensively in this particular wildlife sanctuary. Now let us discuss animals that are available there. That is the fauna. Now as these areas are rich in swamps and marshes, so naturally swamp deer is available in addition to smooth coated otter. Another important species like Gangetic River Dolphin as well as Ghadial are also present. What is the protection status of Gangetic River Dolphin and what is the protection status of Ghadial? Very important from our exam. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, also, predators like Indian leopards are present. Other important animals like Cheetal, Samba Deer and Nilgai are also present which acts as a food for this predator species, Indian Leopard. Now, let me tell you, the Gangetic River Dolphin, these are categorized as endangered, whereas Ghadial, these are categorized as also a critically endangered species, okay? Now, this wildlife sanctuary is also known for its protection efforts. First of all, that under crocodile breeding projects, baby crocodiles, particularly Ghadial, were released into the Gangetic River near Hastinapur. Similarly, under the ages of wildlife Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF and the Turtle Rehabilitation Program, it has also become a center for conservation of turtles. Therefore, this red crowned roof turtle were also settled in this particular wildlife sanctuary. And this wildlife sanctuary is also a part of Asia Flyway Project, which means many migratory birds, both Indian and foreign, they flock this protected area in huge numbers whenever they are migrating from colder homes in eastern part of the planet to the eastern and northern part of the planet to southern and western parts of the planet during the winter season, right? So, these are the important aspects of this wildlife sanctuary that you need to remember. Understand? Now, this is the question that you need to solve. Please solve this question. Let me know the correct answer in the comment section. And if you want to download the notes, these are available under the session daily notes or DNA of today under the telegram channel ATS Live. So, you can search the keywords ATS Live on the top right hand corner of your mobile app and also you have an option to scan this QR code. This will take you directly to my channel and there I will upload the notes under the section today's class notes. Okay. So, this is all from my side. I'll see you again. Please have a very good night and this is all from my side for today.